Welcome to Android Galaxy Greece. I'm Andreas and this is Art vs. Dalvik Explained. So first of all, all the links to the social media are in the description below and let's get started. Uh, Art is uh, the Android stands for Android Runtime and it showed up in uh, the developer options of Android uh, with the uh, update to KitKat. So what it is, is a virtual machine that compiles code that the developer writes an app in a certain code and then it takes that code and translates it into code that our uh, processor, our hardware, everything can understand and run the app. So now we're using Dalvik, which is the default setting. And each time we open an app, Dalvik takes the code, uh, compiles it, translates it, and opens the app. And when you close the app, it disappears. And it does this every time you open an app. So Google has been working with, for the past two years on uh, an alternative runtime, which is ART, Android uh, Runtime. And with ART, it uses a protocol called uh, ahead of time. So what it does is compile, translate all this code when you install the app rather than every time you open it. So virtually it will open the app faster. So every time you install an app, it takes the code, compiles it, translates it, and it's ready ahead of time, and that's its protocol, the ahead of time protocol. Now, the big advantages of ART is that you consume uh, less battery life. Uh, I've tried it on my Nexus 5. It's like a 5 or 7% increase in battery life. It's, it's not that uh, big a difference now. Of course, ART is still in beta, and that's why it's in uh, the developer options and not just uh, out there for anyone to, to open. And the battery life gain it comes from uh, the processor not working that hard each time we open the app. Uh, of course, the apps will open faster and they actually do big apps like Asphalt 8 and something like that open faster, but there are downsides to ART. It takes, uh, it requires more memory from your phone. So if I had uh, 5.5 uh, gigabytes of uh, storage taken up by my apps and converted to our runtime, uh, then it would take up 6 gigs, not 6 gigs more, just uh, five, half a gig more of, uh, of flash and memory. Uh, another disadvantage maybe is that the apps take longer to uh, install on your phone because it compiles the code as you're installing it. Now that's like 5 or 10 seconds on most apps that are small you won't even notice that uh, the time uh, what you have to do if you want to switch to art and give it a try uh, also some major apps didn't work like whatsapp uh, but that's long gone whatsapp works fine with that right now i've tried it on my nexus so it does work now what you can do is go to developer options if you don't know how to do that uh, you go to about phone and tap seven times on the build number and it says uh, now you're a developer and you go back and there's another um, menu there, developer options, uh, you click on uh, runtime and you select use art. The phone will reboot and it will take like 10 minutes to reboot on the first time, just the first time, because it has to compile all the apps that are already on the phone and uh, translate them into code that the hardware understands. And it has to do that for like 150, 200 apps, whatever we have, each one of us has on our phone. So make sure you have some battery life there because it will take some time in doing it, but you can you can try it. I I have it on my Nexus 5. It works perfect. Um, all the apps, the big apps that used to take like a couple of seconds more to open, now don't. They open like instantly. Uh, and that's a, a very easy explanation of Art versus Dalvik. Um, try it for yourself. If you're on KitKat, right, or some phones will get KitKat now, like uh, the HTC or the S4. And you can try that as well. And tell us what you think in the uh, comment section below. See you in the next one.